All right, we have to discuss this article coming out of the San Francisco Chronicle. It's not the San Francisco treat. <laughs> Very prophetic here. We're going to get into the details and much more in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, guys, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry. We're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support us. You can help us out, though, in a major way if you enjoy the daily video content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry here of getting people to Jesus Christ. You can help out through PayPal or Patreon or even just 5 bucks a month on Patreon will get you bonus content. Plus, we include the links to the YouTube videos so you get all alerts when new content arrives. You can comment censorship-free, send direct messages. It's a great way to stay up to date with all the content we put out here. Another big reminder, I can't stress enough, Go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked out of YouTube. We already post there anyway, so go check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So the San Francisco Chronicle, they, they put this, this uh, tweet out on social media. And when I say this is prophetic, it's it doesn't get much more prophetic than this. Suggesting to residents that... Should residents learn to just tolerate burglaries as a part of just regular city living? That's right. They're suggesting that if you live in the city of San Francisco, that you should just tolerate this. They're aware that crime has been on the rise there in San Francisco for a long time. They're aware that people are not happy about this. The break-ins, not just in homes, but vehicles the violent shooting and everything that's been happening there in that city over the past couple of years. It's just continuing to get worse. The, the city is just is run with homeless people, you know, trash filled everywhere. I mean, I mean, it is a dumpster in San Francisco. But the Chronicle thinks that you just need to put up with it. Learn to deal with it, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, instead of, oh, I don't know, suggesting that maybe the city up their police force and actually fund that department and put more police and law enforcement on the streets, they suggest, suggested instead, maybe you should just barricade your homes to protect yourselves. Maybe instead of locking these criminals up, what we should be thinking about instead is rehabilitating these repeat offenders. Maybe jail is not the best answer for them. We can rehabilitate them and make them better members of society. They're, they're just confused people, residents. Don't, don't, it's okay if they break into your home. Just barricade it, okay? We'll rehab them. We'll make them better for you. This was an actual tweet that they put out, and then it was printed in their publication. They were completely just slammed for this, for this article, for this tweet, for what they said. And let me talk about the prophetic significance of this because the Bible is very clear that in the last days that men would call evil good and good evil. That's what you see here. A city that has just completely fallen at this point. They're, they're hopeless. It would take an act of God. Okay, let's just be honest about this. For them to actually get the city back in order again. But when you have so-called news publications that are calling for people to just tolerate crime and burglary as a part of just normal city living. They're basically giving their stamp of approval on it. They're endorsing it. It's just perfectly fine. Evil good and good is evil. Men's hearts are fixated upon evil continually. Also what the Bible says. No better example than San Francisco, Chicago, and so many other cities across this country. San Francisco is, in a sense, just given up. Not that they ever really tried to begin with, because they didn't. The city has completely been destroyed with jab mandates. Not to mention all the crime. The cost of living there. People are fleeing out of the city. There's going to come a point in time where the city will be completely, you know, unlivable. Don't forget, too. The chances of a major earthquake hitting that region are very likely. It is long overdue. So everything that you see now with everything going on with the crime and the homelessness and everything and the jab mandates, that city could be completely wiped out with a major earthquake. 
and there would be nothing left of it. It would be reduced to rubble. Now that would be the judgment of God. That hasn't happened yet. God may still be waiting on some people there in that city, in that state, to repent before that happens. And no doubt in my mind, it's going to happen at some point. We know that it will. But until then, the state continues to go further and further away from God. Normalizing crime, letting residents know that it's just, guys, it's normal. Deal with it. Learn to accept it. One of the most disgusting things I think that I've ever heard. But then again, when we're in the last days, nothing can surprise me anymore. And I know a lot of you probably feel the exact same way. If you ever, you know, needed another reason to wonder whether or not we were in the last days or not, and if Jesus Christ was coming back soon, well, you have it right here with this story. And that's actually why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The question is, have you made him your personal Lord and Savior? Because if not, I would love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. You can put this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord. Here's the first thing that you want to do, and for some it's the most difficult, but that's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. The city of San Francisco won't acknowledge sin. They need to. But we're all sinners, though. The good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. But what you have to do is repent of that sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray that you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.